Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the next episode of my, I think it's the 60th actually, so that's pretty cool, 60, yay, another 10. Uh, thanks so much for joining me today, I, we are going to be playing France, like I said. Uh, we are doing very well, and I think I say that at the beginning of every episode, so, I mean, it's hard not to, though, because we are doing pretty good. Uh, we've expanded a lot, we didn't really expand much here, we're starting to integrate Mardwai. I don't think it's really prudent to use them to eat Vagina Gar anymore, because we can always get a new country to eat them, like, like for instance, there's a core here for Gunglconda, Gun Gun which is not going to go away until 1944. So we have plenty of time if we want to expand more here in India. I think we're doing pretty good though for ourselves, and I really want to focus on integrating Russia and Austria. Austria is going to be really tough though. We do have a personal union with them, but it will go away if they still have negative relation by the end of this year. So, or by not the end of this year, but when our guy dies, luckily he's only. 35 years old so we have plenty of time to fix this problem so uh, it might be worth putting a diplomat there maybe not uh, we're gonna start to integrate Hungary in the next year as well as Cleves we're gonna start doing them at the same time uh, it might be worth it to uh, to send them a gift yeah and that will get us up to 84 we just need a slightly slightly bit more improved relations and uh, we can integrate Cleves uh, we're trying not to integrate any of the electors, so Netherlands, Palinate, Frankfurt, because they are going to actually get us the emperorship. Uh, nobody else has as many votes as us. Uh, Bohemia has two, we have three, so we're pretty solid on this. Everybody else has two. They only have, so good thing they're divided. If they united under Bohemia, we'd be in trouble. But luckily, it looks like when Bohemia's heir dies, who is 34, hope maybe he'll die in a war or something, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, anyways, we're spending a lot of money right now because we have, we're spending, we have nine colonies, so we're losing 138 a day, but that's fine because, oh, a month. Oh, we got a call to arms for the Lithonian Order that they bought, so this is the Defender of the Faith thing. Um, so the Lithonian Order declared war on Sweden. Sweden is a war, is allied with, this is like the same war, we've had this war like, 10 gazillion times. Um, Ferrara, Bohemia, S Brunswick, Hesse, and Lorraine. Hmm. I say hmm because this is a chance for us to perhaps vassalize Brunswick? I don't know which one. One of these we can actually vassalize. I think it's Brunswick that would accept vassalization. So let's accept this. We're going to go to war. Um, we're in control. And if we vassalized Brunswick... I mean, I don't know. They kind of hate us. Aren't we at war with them? Oh no, it hasn't gone yet. But uh, they might not even join because of how just massively superior our forces are. And we're going to be losing like 200 a day trying to fund our army. So uh, we'll see. I mean, Russia probably can handle Sweden just right. Right? Hope As long as the war leader doesn't change, we should be fine. Yeah. So, Lithonian Order, they're going to win. <laughs> It looks like none of the, none of Sweden's allies are interested in coming to war with us right now, so we can just sit back here and uh, prepare our peace deal. So yeah, we'll lose the prestige, and we're gonna invest in a bigger base tax because we're gonna need money now since we're spending so so much. Uh, we can get this uh, this permanent cost belly against the religions. That's good because we're six years ahead in our admin tech anyway, so it's not really too poignant for us to worry about that. We've got some more population, nice. So we gained some Costas Bellies against. Oh, we got the Defender of the Faith Costas Belly against all these guys. Sweet. So can we actually? Um, I want to see if we can just try it. I just want to see what it says. Uh, show superiority for forced conversions. So it's only a hundred percent cost for forced conversion, so that'd be cool. If we wanted to force Bohemia to be. Catholic? I think I think that's how it works. I hope it looks like Kanem Boro is doing their super slow war. It's been like a million years they've been fighting this war. None of the allies have come. They're just too afraid of us, I guess. We do have 300,000k manpower. We can do another idea. Oh, we can actually finish off the uh, military thing. We are like six years ahead in military tech as well, so it's like a very good idea, for, or three years only now. But we were really far ahead, so it's good that we do this. We did that because now we got this uh, combat ability for cavalry and our military technology cost actually went down by 10% anyways. So that's nice. 
We got a native rising. That's fine. We got plenty of forces to deal with that. We got some forces down here, I hope. Yeah, we got, we're got we taking uh, the Tierra, Tierra del Fuego. I'm really trying to figure out how I can get this. The uh, the Straits of Johor, the the Lower Center of the Khmer. Where, where are those provinces? I forget. I can, I, let's look at them. Let's look for Johor. Straits of Johor, right? So let's see. Uh, if we look at our province locator, S-T-R-A... I G Nope, that's not how you spell straights. S T R Oh, there's no that's really straights? Oh, interesting. Of, of Jahor. There we go. So where are you? So we need to get one of these provinces actually. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Brunei, we could probably actually vassalize, right? No, they have some good base tax, so probably not. We could always declare war against them randomly, or I think they're a different religion, right? But they're not neighboring, so that's the problem. I believe these guys are neighboring, so we might be able to get to. Yeah, we can actually declare a holy war against them. We have expiring causes belly against Ferrara, whatever. I don't care. We have blockaded pirate port. Uh, we we lost humorously. We lost a lot of our ships in the last uh, few episodes because they uh they were like running around the edges of the south america here to explore and they all died so that was kind of saddening uh but we did we were, we're working on it we're getting colonies on that side this this core when we get that cord will be really helpful in getting around that area uh we also are colonizing this area in the middle here so when they try to cross over it's not going to be so t horribly horribly horrible to go through the ocean for a, a little bit we can have a little stop you know Anyways, we have three diplomats free, which is really interesting. Why do we have so many free? Can we start integrating cleaves? Oh, we can't do this while they're while we are at war. Why are we losing this war? Excuse me. Oh, they're actually winning some battles. Uh, maybe. Oh, their their allies came in. All right, finally. I was wondering if they were going to do that or not. All right, so let's uh let's go here and help. We're going to start the war. Um, we have some good leaders. I'm pretty sure in the uh no we actually only have the one and he's still exploring right i wish you could kind of see i wish there was like this shady outline so i knew like at least where to click but nope anyways we're gonna leave him to his, do his work we don't really need leaders we have the, the just overwhelming number advantage and i don't understand why we're not already winning but okay the cardinal is no longer loyal to us that's fine I thought we might be able to just sit here and do nothing and be fine, but apparently not. So uh, we still have a lot of mercenaries. That's what's probably hurting us. Let's get rid of these mercenaries. Where's our... I might have accidentally taken some mercenaries to the New World. How much do the mercenaries cost? If it's not that much, I'm just not going to bother with them. But if it is a lot, we might as well. Yeah, it's like 16 ducats. So let's, let's get rid of these mercenaries if we can. Find them, hunt them down, whatever. Yeah, I believe we might have taken some to the new world on accident. Oopsies. Alright, so let's get to Ferrara. We'll take out these idiots in Ferrara. They only have combined a 50,000 man army. We have 400,000 men army all combined. Russia's should be... I, I hate that Russia sucks so bad. They like They suck so bad. It's like insane. And what sucks also is that we could probably integrate Hungary right now. But they're not going to let us. So let's just improve our relations everywhere. Let's actually start improving relations with Austria. We need we need them to love us. It would be really helpful actually to have them love us. Indeed. Fish is now produced. Okay. Um, okay, Frankfurt. Come on. We're trying to we're trying to help. Quit your running. I think it's, is that the Tesse, right? Hesse, do you have any cores of other people? No, but there's a lot of claims. I bet you if we, I think they're the same, you know, the Rhinelander, Hessian, they have one Hessian, so I'm sure they would take it if we took it and sold it to them, but I don't think we want to do that right now. I'd love to fight against Ulm. Is Ulm in the coalition against me? No. Who do they have allies? Aragon, Milan, and Table State. Uh, they'd probably f it'd probably flip, and then the whole freaking coalition would be against me. But that's we'll see about that because the Palinate has some core or Frankfurt has some cores here till for a while. 
Oh, we can't actually make any more quartz. That's a lot. We have so many, so many, so many of our... We have so many colonies going right now. It's ridiculous, the amount of colonies we have going on right now. Um, somehow we're losing this fight. Uh, I don't understand. We have, like... Oh, we have no leader. I mean, we still won, but... Oh, well, we'll move this army in there and... Uh, Wow, we sent them running. Did Ulm join the war? No. I see there's I see some I saw a flag here. That's Ferrara's flag. How's their our army that's down there? Let's just move it in here. Uh do they have any cores that we can force them to return? It looks like we can force them to return to the Papal State and maybe release Mantua. Or Orbino. Orbino still got a core? Jesus. Good for them. Ferrara, so we can we're gonna make them release these cores, the Papal State. That'll make the Papal State love us a little bit more. Um They have no more court. Modena's gone. Or whatever whatever the provinces that was here earlier. It's not Ferrara. Uh, I don't think we're gonna want to move in on that fight. We have plenty of people there already. Ah, good, we got uh we lost one ferocity, sweet. Well, it's not like it really matters, because we just kill them all anyway. Alright, so as we... We're going to just knock out these uh, Borons one by one. Alright, and we're just going to march across the, ta the... the I guess we're just going to march across Europe, taking out their armies one by one. They're going to run to Modena, but we're not going to let them. We're going to actually... Uh, we're going to split up some... Here we go. Uh, Alright, so we're going to send them all down to here, and then we're going to get rid of 1-3,000, send them all to here, get rid of 1-3,000, send them all to here, get rid of 1-3,000. Man army. Alright, now then they got one, two more provinces. So let's send... Uh, we'll drop off some 6,000 here. Then we'll move these guys there. Drop off two units there, and then we'll drop off the last unit in Modena. So that should be plenty of sieges going on for them. And if we just keep rolling, ruffle stomping across the uh, across the way here, we should just uh, crush them. They are running so fast. They're so afraid. That's fine. We need to spread out in Hesse as well. We'll use that army to spread out in Hesse, and then this army will spread out with the other 35,000 in Bohemia. Now, how's Russia doing against Sweden? Alright, they're winning. Um, Finland. Do you have any forces, actually, Finland? Whatever. I guess we can we can integrate Finland. We did the math earlier, so we're going to do that soon as well. Uh, we'll probably have them integrating at the same time as like Croatia and England. Uh, England, can we integrate you? No, we have to wait till 87, but that's that's going to be great because we can get another 50 minus uh, to our aggressive expansion with the uh, with Austria. Not good. We're just we're just squish 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 all day long. Um, we're gonna make them return cores all left and right, so we can actually probably turn off force march now that we squished all their armies. Um, Let's just move along here and just finish off the squishing. Okay, I think I wait. I made way too many siege parties. Actually, I think I made just enough to have an army to chase them with. Yeah, let's have these guys go there and then these guys go chase them. We'll finish them off easily. Now, I believe that's all we're at war with, right? Yeah, we're just at war with uh, these guys right here, and then uh, Sweden, of course. But uh, Sweden, Sweden can be handled by someone else. We, their troops. I just don't want troops popping up and flopping around randomly. So let's just keep on dropping sieges and moving along here. Hopefully, Bohemia is not too stupid to run. They are trying to run. So how about we just make it so there's nowhere to run. <laughs> There's nowhere to run or hide right now, Bohemia. Sorry. I mean, I'm not, I don't even care. This we're running it on five speed. That's how much I just don't care. Um, can we vassalize them? Oh, they'll actually take Silesia. We'll take vassalization. 
Too bad we don't touch. Uh, let's go ahead and spit these guys. We'll drop a siege. And then we'll drop a siege with these guys. And that should be the entirety of Europe almost being sieged. <laughs> All of our European enemies, almost. We're just going to have to chase down this stupid Hessian army. Are we going to ever catch them? Jesus Christ. There, I think now we I think now we've cornered them. Yes, there we go. Alright. Uh oh sweet, we got up to three stability. Nice. I love those events. That's sweet. Alright, we'll drop out we'll send half to go to Brunswick. And that should be the entirety of the HRE under siege, like I said. Um and we can also hurt Bohemia. We can make them uh, dissuade, uh, hopefully piss them off with the other guys around us. A uh, peace offer from Sweden. No, Sweden. We're, we're not doing anything <laughs> right now. Um, how's our Hungary and Cleves? Because those are our two personal... How many other... Do we have any other personal unions? Just checking. Uh, we have Hungary as a lesser partner. Austria as a lesser partner and Cleves. So, yeah, I forgot about Austria. But we're going to do Hungary and Cleves now. Next chance we get. All right, good. So now we have all of our areas under siege. How's uh, Sweden? Sweden's getting sieged up as well. Good for us. Good for us. Good for us. Good for us. And now we can just pretty much sit back and wait. Um, got some uh, Frankfurtian revolutionaries. We're going to stop them from doing whatever the hell they're doing. Uh, revolt's possible. Don't care. Good. We got another self-sustaining colony. So we can, we're can. we going to be making many maybe soon. Uh, we're still losing 75 to, uh, to colonies, but still. That's... Uh, it's a hell of a lot of colonies we have going on. We do some decisions, apparently. I still don't want to do this decision. It's just going to piss everybody off needlessly. So we have, yeah, we have all the enemies under siege, right? Everybody we are fighting against currently is under siege. So we've got 25 more... I love these events. These events are awesome. <laughs> so how, how are we doing... Okay, with Croatia, we can probably start uh, integrating... Oh no, we have to wait till 87 as well. Oh yeah, we did them both England at the same time. Alright. So I think Croatia, England, Hungary, Cleves, that's going to be like all of our vassals that are not either HRE states or uh, concede defeat. That makes me laugh so much. La la la. Alright, let's go finish off their petty army there. We'll leave a siege there and go and attack their, their mainland because apparently we, they need help over there for some reason. And it, uh, oh, so we lose a little population somewhere, gain a little bit more otherwere. Oh, we lost our cost belly against the Ottomans. Sad face. Siege of Ferrara is over. Good, 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 good. Uh, Ferrara? No, Ferrara. Uh, we're going to lose administrative power or lose... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Who cares about spy defense? Siege of Potsdam is over. Okay, let's see about Ferrara. Will you... We'll, we'll craft our peace deal now. Our vindictive peace. Let's see. Return these cores to the Papal State. Papal State needs them more than you. No, they're not going to take that, but we'll, we'll get 100% war score very shortly. They can. It says they can release nations, but there's... Oh, they can actually release Urbino. Maybe we'll have them release Urbino. Because then Urbino would be our vassal, and we could vassalize them and then integrate them, but... I don't know. That's going to be way too much stuff. We'll, enter, we'll we'll make them... I don't know. That's going to be another relation I don't care for. I think it might be better just to have a nicer happiness with the uh, Papal State before we come, you know, knocking for them. Eventually, we're going to want to fight them, but... Oh, okay. So it looks like they're going to take our deal. Um, so let's send this demand to them. They should accept. And this is going to make the... Uh, Make the the, 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 the the other people, the, the uh, Papal State, really love us. Uh, Siege of Le No, we're not taking that, Pete Sweden. Uh, yeah, we got 80-plus relations with them for return territory. Good. Uh, national decisions available. Still the same stupid appeal thing. Uh, troops in our foreign territory, of course. But uh, Hesse, no. Uh, Hesse, what are we going to do with Hesse, actually? We might just want to piece them out if there's nothing really to do. French vassals too much. Ooh, we can force religion on them. Let's see what if we can get up to 100% and they won't still still won't take it. We'll, we'll but I'm just gonna this is gonna be a uh, uh, you know 
a test run to see how well that actually works. Can we actually force them to convert? All right, looks like we're probably, I think a lot of our colonies have been finishing, so we probably have like a gazillion cores to do. Yeah, three. Good. Good, 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 good. Having our colonies finish is nice. Did we finish this one? No, but we're almost done, so that's nice. What about this one? Ooh, we are done. Yay! How's our uh, explorer extraordinaire over here? He's doing well. We can't make him move here. Is this like... I don't know where the actual place is. I wish it would tell me if that was... Wa I don't think it's Wasteland, but... Apparently it's not letting us go there, so we might as well just have him come down and ex discover all of this. We'll make him do some stupid roundabout way. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we just won't have to worry about it. And then uh, we'll make him discover all the territories, actually, so we just never have to think about discovering anything in South America again. Now, I know this is like a radically inefficient way of discovering all these territories, but uh, I think it'll just be... It'll be okay. <laughs> and then we'll have him end up in the middle so we can see if we miss anybody. Actually, I think we missed this one, yeah. These Inca. Isn't there an Inca? I don't think we've seen the Inca yet. I forgot about them. Anyways. Yeah, so that'll probably put a kink in our little plan here. Uh, oh well. It uh, looks like Brunswick wants to peace offer. Um, I think Brunswick as well is Protestant. Are they Protestant? Yeah, they are. So let's see, can we force them to be our religion? Or we can make them release Saxony, actually. So that might be a good idea. Uh, but we can make them force religion. So let's try that as well. We'll see exactly what happens. Got a lot of sieges going on. Bomberwald. Uh, we're at 92% with uh, Sweden, so we're good. Um, whoa. Okay, uh... Lose size, gain ferocity. Oh, let's yeah, let's lose the fifty population. Siege of Thurgin is over. No Sweden, we're not piecing out with you that easy. Siege of Hessen is over. Hanover's over. Nesbit's over. Good. Um, what can we go with Bohemia? I think Bohemia. We can force them to give that thing back to Brandenburg. Back to Bavaria. Yeah, let's get that back to Bavaria because then that'll make them more... Hopefully Bavaria will love us a little bit more again and we will get them to ele elect us. So uh, they'll take that, but we can also make them release Saxony. So that'd be funny if we made them release two Saxonies, but... Yeah, let's actually make them release Saxony because then we can make them... We can make uh, Brunswick also release Saxony. And then do we have anything else we really care for? Let's make them release their core on our guy. And then there's nothing else we really... Yeah, we don't want to force the religion or anything, so let's do that. We'll get out of that war with Bohemia. We can have our forces. Let's have them all go back, actually, to Champagne. And then this force here can mount up. Uh, I don't see anything, really, that we should be doing anywhere else. Um, Sweden, I guess we're sieging that, but it, we're already at 99%, so who cares. Let's go to Hesse, see if we can't get what we want for them. We'll see what we'll see what it says at the end. If we get a hundred percent, and it's like uh, no, um, yeah, we're not gonna let them just concede defeat either. Our diplomat is alive. The papacy is like a new pope. A new cardinal is no longer loyal to us. Oh, Austria, you try to sneak in that one too? Haha, <laughs> not happening. We have a gazillion points. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. You're never gonna get a king or a cardinal. That's good news. So these guys, Saxony is going to love us. Um, oh no. They, these are going to be our new targets for vassals. Silesia and Saxony, because they're part of the HRE. So we can make them electors once we get the, uh, once we get made the, uh, the elect elector guy. Um, I mean, once we get made the, uh, the king, or the, the emperor. Emperor, God, that's what I'm looking for. Um, peace offer from Sweden. Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> Decline. Yeah, we're not letting you concede defeat out of this, Sweden. We're going to get something good with you. We're gonna make you return all this stuff to Denmark. Ooh, and we're gonna make you release Lace Big to Sa Oh no, that's part of the other thing. We'll we'll wait till we finish these two guys, and then we'll see what we want to get out of uh, out of them. So please, we're at maximum with them. Good. Are we maximum with Hungary as well? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, peace offer from Hesse. What do they want? 
No. We're not accepting that. We got 61,000 troops just standing here. Let's have them go away. Let's go stand somewhere else. Productive. Let's have these guys stand somewhere else as well. Uh, Brunswick, no. We're, we want to... We wanna, what did Brunswick... Actually, what do we want from them? We might be able to get it. Uh, Brunswick, we don't want full annexation. That's too much. Uh, we want to force the religion on Brunswick. We're fighting against them in Leipzig, but that's easy. We already have like a gazillion guys there. And if we can't force religion, we're just going to get them to uh, give us... Poland wants us to fight against the Ottomans, Tunisia, Bohemia, Ferrara, Morocco. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, we can go with them. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but um, I kind of wanted to get my vassals started. So maybe we'll peace out early. I don't know. Is this like a coalition war against them? Oh, no, these are other vassals. Or something. I don't know. But whatever. Poland is... Bohemia is fighting again. I guess it's like a defense of the uh, thing. So we're just going to go and siege up in Bohemia, I guess. No reason this war can't be... This war we're going to end quickly. The other war we kind of... This war we want to kind of hurry up or... I don't know. We got St. Helena completed. That means we got a guy free, right? So let's see. Where's a... Is there any... I just like seeing that that like that stupid path that we made the guy go on. Uh, that's never gonna finish. He's never gonna finish, is he? Looks like Norway once again is trying to colonize. That's not a good idea, Norway. We're gonna wreck you. Oh, too bad we can't be fighting against Norway, because then we could just seize all their colonies immediately. But uh, are we fighting against Ferrara again? Ugh, so annoying. Let's just go down there and uh, fight. And I, I doubt that the Ottomans have much. They, oh, they actually have 100,000 troops. Interesting. But they all suck, as is, you know, because Austria, because they have uh, crappy units. All right, so Battle of Airs. OK, good. Yeah, whatever. We're going to crush Bohemia very quickly once again. So peace offer from Sweden. We're not going to take it. Uh, Hesse is actually fully maxed. We got 100% war score with them, right? Yeah. Will they take uh, this? No. So we'll just make them annul treaties with everybody, I guess. I mean, that's no nothing really going to do anything, is it? Can make them give us all their provinces, but that's going to just be... They're kind of in the middle. We don't care. Um, sucks that we can't force their religion. Can't We can't? So let's just make them concede defeat. We'll send that to them. We don't want to get any aggressive expansion or anything. Maybe we'll make them transfer their trade power as well. I don't know if that's really going to help us to do anything, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, Hesse, Gay, okay, we got some revolts here. Um, we're very close to getting this siege over here. Come on, fall, 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 fall. Fall, fall. Oh, we lost the Battle of Bohemia. What? Bohemia, how'd you get so much army? We gon' kill you. You know what? I don't think it's going to let us do it because it's over 120%, so let's just go sue for peace. We're going to make them release that. Clear our offer here. We're going to make them release that back to Saxony. Damn it. <laughs> I clicked something. Um, uh, Brunswick, we're going to make you uh, release this back to Saxony, right? Yeah. We're going to make you release... Damn it! I clicked their name again. Alright, come on. This time, Grant... <laughs> come on, Spray and Pray. You can do it. Alright. Clear the offer. Return to Saxony. Send the demand. All right. Now all these forces can go and move in on uh, on Bohemia. Our huge vassal army over here with Austria. It's pretty sick. Got some peasants going on in leash. Good for you, peasants. Go kill them all. Poor Ferrara. They're so tiny. All right. We gave that back to Saxony. Good, they'll take our vassalizations shortly, hopefully. Uh, we're going to start improving relations with them, as well as um, the other one. Good, we won Battle Ferraria. Uh, how about we just split up and send... I think we're sending more units down here. I don't think we need that. No. Let's send these guys over to Bohemia, just so that we can have our forces ready to go. Raring to go for the Ottomans. Can we wipe peace out of this yet? Jesus. Are we the war leader? No, Poland's the war leader. Apparently, we're not big enough, even though we're, like, massive. But 
Whatever. They're all crappy troops. Hopefully Poland can handle themselves. Uh, and we don't really have to help them that much, but I, I mean we can help them, which is the sad part. Alright, so Battle of Fez. Okay, whatever. And uh, here goes Bohemia. Now, I wonder if we are getting any more help here in this, uh, it looks like people really love us because I think we're, maybe they beating, being vassal or union, okay, uh, trust, diplomatic relations. I wonder if we're getting any points because of, uh, releasing people from the HRE, that might be nice. Are we getting any points with Austria, maybe? No, they still kind of hate us. Uh, we can start integrating a lot of people now, though, so. We might want to late, wait, we might want to integrate and then make these all guys our vassals. That might be, I think that's what we're going to do. Because we've got a, quite a bit of time until we are going to be the Emperor anyways. So, Bohemia, yeah. Let's merge our force here. Uh, and we'll split in half, go and siege up that. We've got a huge army here. We're going to split in half and start sending them to... Uh, yeah, Bohemia's tiny now. That's pretty cool. So who else are we, who are we fighting against now? Just Bohemia and Sweden still? And Ferrara again? Alright, so is it only Sweden in this war? We peace out everybody else, right? Alright, so Sweden, now what are we going to do to you? Uh, this is going to be quite the peace deal here. So you can make them give all this crap back to Denmark. You can give this back to the Lithuanian Order. And that's what they wanted. So I think we're entitled to give them, we, we must give them that. I just want to make sure we're going to make them return all this crap. Now we don't have that much, uh, we don't have that much stuff, so let's go ahead and make them return, uh, that one and that one. And we can afford that. It's only 100 Diplo power. So what's in that demand? Good, now the Thonian Order probably loves us. Will they take a vassal? Will they vassalize? Mm, yeah, they probably would in a war. And then uh, Denmark, what about you? Will you vassalize? No, because they got a little bit too much... They have too good base tax. But if we had some really good relations with them, I bet you they would take it. And we reunited them, so I'm sure they were happy about that. And now we can focus our war effort on the Ottomans solely. Where the hell are all the Ottoman troops? Apparently they have 100,000, but where? Are they like down here? Is it ter Terminids only that has them? No guys that hates them or something? I don't know. Usually the AI finds a way to get into the, the into the territory. So let's actually look at this map. Oh, there we go. Who are we at war with? Okay, we're at war with Morocco, Tunisia. Oh, are they actually invading us over there? Wow, Morocco has quite a lot of troops. Jesus. What's their tech level? They have military tech level 21. But don't we have 21? Oh no, we have 22. But still, that's a scary amount of troops. Hmm. I didn't know Morocco... Are they westernized? No, they still have the Muslim tech group. But I mean, Muslims aren't too bad. They're not the, like the, the worst, but... That's quite a lot of troops you got there. We got some... We can build some more troops. We have about, like... We probably can build up to 30 troops. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? 15. And then uh, we'll build uh, 7 of these guys. Or 8, actually. And then we'll build the rest cannons. Alright, that should be a pretty good amount of fighting force against the... Uh, the encouraging, incurring, uh, Mor or Moroccans, yeah. Moroccans. Alright, so we're gonna pause here. That's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope our, I hope our guy doesn't lose his freaking mind trying to, uh, where is he, actually? Let's see if we can't get this guy to load where he is. The game is like, no, I can't, I can't understand this. Oh, there he is, right? Alright, there we go. Now we have his stupid, uh, his stupid path. So yeah, he's down there already, so that's good. It'll probably cancel it once he finds the Inca, but whatever. We're doing really well, guys. We've got three stability, we're fighting against the Ottomans already. We can probably peace out very shortly. <sighs> can we, uh, we can give a lot of these things back. We can make them cancel Tunisia as a vassal. We can make them... Release, can we even make, release Byzantium? No. I think Byzantium's actually already a thing. Does Byzantium have any cores? No. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I've enjoyed this. We're doing really well, guys. I keep saying that, but it's true. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Do the best. Spray and pray out.